Question 20, identities. Identities, that doesn't mean you've got an equation where there's only one value or sort of a couple of values of alpha that works, it means it's true for all. The technique is you take one side and demonstrate by using various other identities that it produces the other side. So I'll start with the left hand side. That's 6 sine alpha cos alpha. Then it's just a little bit of intuition. You recognise that as part of the double angle formula. If I take 3 out of that and leave the factor 2, I've got 2 sine alpha cos alpha, which I immediately recognise as the sine, the expansion for the sine of 2 alpha, and there it is, done. So it equals right hand side, and that's it finished. That's it demonstrated. Same with B. The left hand side says this, I've got sine alpha plus cos alpha squared. Well the first thing is get rid of these brackets, there's no brackets in this one. So I'll be square the first, so sine squared, twice the product, 2 sine alpha cos alpha, square the last. And of course as you're writing it you see all the various patterns appearing. I'll take these two terms together, I'll take sine squared alpha and cos squared alpha together and leave the 2 sine alpha cos alpha at the end because I recognise the two parts. I know that sine squared plus cos squared makes 1 and I know that 2 sine alpha cos alpha is the expansion of sine 2 alpha. So that just equals 1 plus and that part is sine 2 alpha which equals the right hand side. Similar to the last one here then. Take the left hand side. There's a bracket, and there's no bracket on this side, so expand out that bracket. So that's going to be square the first, so it'll be sine squared of a half of alpha twice the product, two times the sine of a half of alpha times the cos of a half of alpha, plus square the last, cos squared a half of alpha. If we distribute them into their partners, because sine squared goes perfectly with cos squared. And minus this term here, 2 sine something cos something is another simple pattern. Now the sine squared, the sine of something squared and the cos of something, the same thing squared always comes to 1. They're certainly the same, so this part comes to 1. Minus, that's the pattern for the double angle. So whatever appears seems to be half of what's going to appear in the next part, that'll be double that would be just sine x. So you sine alpha, since alpha is double a half alpha, using the double angle formula. And there you are. That then equals the right hand side, and that's it, done. So for D, recognize that straight away as a difference of two squares. So left hand side. I've got cos to the power 4 alpha minus sine to the power 4 alpha. So that'll be cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha times cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. Now I know that part comes to 1. And that part is the expansion of cos 2 alpha. So maybe I'll just write it down that way. That's cos 2 alpha and that's 1 so it's just cos 2 alpha, which equals the right hand side. And then in E, what's needing done? Well, I can write down straight away. I've got double angles and I have to change it to something involving single angles. So the first step must be obviously get rid of the double angles. I'll just write it down again. So left hand side is sine 2x over 1 plus cos 2x. Employ the formulas. That's 2 sine x cos x. Now underneath I need something suitable. I want that 1 to disappear. So what I'm going to do here is going to be, I'm going to make it in the form of cos x minus 1. So 1 plus, let's put a wee courtesy bracket here, 2 times cos squared x minus 1. So what I've really got then is 2 sine x cos x over just 2 cos squared x. Of course, the 2s will cancel and the cos x will cancel, just leaving you sine x over cos x, which is tan x. And there it is. Same as the right hand side.
And so the last one here. Now again, you can see what's going to be happening here. I'm aiming for a tan, so I'm looking for a sine over a cos. So it's going to be change that into the form with sine squared and change that to the form with cos squared. Left hand side, I'll just start off properly. It's an identity. You start with left hand side, if that's the more complicated one, and then perform various identities to change it into the right hand side. So what I'll do for the top. So the top one, if I want it in the form of sine squared, that's going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared single x. And if I want a cos to appear underneath, I'll make that in the form of 2 cos squared minus 1. Then I'm going to tidy these up. 1 minus 1 disappears. That'll be positive 2 sine squared x. The 1 and the 1 will cancel out, leaving 2 Oops. cos squared x. The 2's will cancel, leaving sine squared x over cos squared x. I'll just show it that way. Sine squared x over cos squared x, which is tan squared x, which is the right hand side.